I'm gonna come out and say it. Hello beautiful people and welcome to next video. So um, not much been happening in the past week. I've been literally just home doing the same old same old. Um, my sleeping schedule disaster absolute disaster so on saturday i woke up at 1 pm and then i fall asleep again and woke up at 8 so obviously i stay up all night i think i fall asleep around like 5 30 in the morning and then woke up at 10 30 to go to little and since that i haven't slept so it's obviously monday today it is 11 46 and I'm still up, so we will see uh, what time I will crash. Probably gonna happen soon, but I have video to film and video to edit, so we will see. Um, what else? What else? Um, what else? What else? Uh, I'm gonna have some news about two weeks' time, so if you're new here, subscribe that you're not gonna miss it. I think it's quite exciting. Um, it is about like the next step of my uh. Of my journey to being redundant so there's little behind the scene that is happening um what else because i haven't slept yesterday so i actually worked on uh, my japan trip so i started uh, doing itinerary still can't pronounce that word i'm not gonna lie and kind of putting pricing and budget together and see kind of where we are at the moment so i kind of shared the uh, I know kind of I did share um, the timetable that I'm having just at the moment before I do like you know all the fancy schmancy formatting uh, on my Instagram so again if you don't follow me follow me links is uh, down below so usually you're gonna get all the updates on Instagram um, about what I'm doing what is going on etc and then now let's not delay this chat um it is kind of uncomfortable uh chat i'm not gonna lie uh by the title of this video i'm gonna be talking about how i budgeted my uh 30k salary from my job that i just lost um I have to say, I don't see many people really talking figures and how their lifestyle is. Maybe I'm just missing it, but all my YouTube uh, channel suggestions is just like it was showing kind of roughly what they're paying for rent, what they're paying for food, you know, just like bills in total. It's not really like separate uh, lines. And also I think it's not a thing really in UK because as kind of what I'm kind of aware, uh people just not sharing it how much they're earning and i think it's kind of like suggested by uh hr as well to not really talk to your colleagues about the salary you are on which it doesn't really bother me like i have no problem to share how much i'm earning because on the end of the day it is me who decided to accept that role for that money so I don't think it's anything secretive, but hey, or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know really. Okay. Um, so yeah, for those uh, who don't know really what was happening, so I worked as a sales uh, administrator in a small niche IT company, and recently I have been made redundant. So when I started this job, it would be now two years ago, I been offered £30,000 per year, so I accepted that, it was a jump from my previous uh, roles as well, so, so far I've been progressing from each role up and up and up, so I think the first kind of year and a half, or maybe year, yeah, I think so, it was a year and a half, I've been paying, obviously, taxes, national insurance, and also pension, because we have quite good pension schemes, so I contributed in that. However, because, obviously, the time's changing, the prices went up, uh, the whole kind of lifestyle in London price-wise went up, so I decided to um, stop contributing to my pension about, like, six months ago, maybe five months ago, to get additional boost of income so uh, my total money after national insurance and taxes to bring home were 2092 pounds and four pence by the way i have a notebook because i can't remember that 
also I just realized I'm gonna shift a little so you can actually I'm gonna put like the all the whole breakdown of my salary here that you can kind of see it so yeah as I said after taxes and national insurance I brought home two thousand ninety two pounds and four pence uh, it was on average that uh, amount I think sometimes I had a couple pounds more a couple pounds less so this is kind of like the average um, I have to say that luckily I don't have any debt so I'm almost 32, I have no debt, I have no mortgage, I have no car financing, I basically have nothing. Only thing I have is when I purchased my laptop last year, I put it on financing, I could afford it, basically pay it straight away in cash, however I decided to do a financing through Barclays, which is my bank, and um, the deal was really good, I think it was like zero fee and zero the interest as well so i just literally gonna uh not gonna i literally got the price of laptop split into two years the reason why i did it was to basically boost my credit score because i'm still building my credit score because i don't know if i'm gonna buy or not you know a couple of years back that was my main uh goal to be just saving for the deposit and then buy at the moment, I don't know really how I feel about it, but again, that's a topic for a different day. So, um, yeah, from this money, I have no debt, as I already said, so we're just going to go step by step, line by line, what, um, what my bills looks like. So, let's start with the biggest one, and that's the rent. So, I've been very lucky because uh, when my previous rent in Finchley uh, got increased from 650 to 980 I believe, I was like, obviously I can still afford it, but I don't want to pay that much rent for a room that is not big and for sharing essentially a disgusting flat because the, the flatmates were just nasty. So there was always like a mess. I felt like a mother again story for a different time let's focus on how much i'm paying so uh i've been lucky that my friend actually had a spare bedroom which i'm now here in and i'm paying actually 600 so i managed to decrease my rent and kind of save additional 50 pounds so yeah my rent is 600 pounds per month and that is the highest uh, that is essentially the highest bill that i have Next, obviously, is the laptop payment. So that is £52.04. Uh, I'm over a year now, so I have like a year to go. But again, I can pay it essentially whenever. So if I have additional cash that I can just splurge, you know, that I can just do, I can pay it. So that's fine. Um, kind of going hand in hand with the laptop is the uh, Apple iCloud subscription. So that is... Eight pounds ninety nine. I think it's the one t one terabyte, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm wrong, but something like that. And then again, with the laptop comes tech pack. So um, I have it through Barclays again. I have quite lots of rewards because I've been with Barclays for I think ten years now. So the tech pack that I have at the moment is fourteen pounds fifty. And I literally have everything on it. So I have my laptop, my iPad, my iPhone, my AirPods. I think both of them, even the old ones still. And I think my Garmin is on it as well. And maybe my Sony headphones as well. So you can like put lots of stuff on it and it's only £14.50. And the, if something happen, happens to your electronics, it's quite good policy and everything. So I like that. So I'm paying that uh then also with the bank account essentially i'm paying five pounds for a blue reward um i remember that five pounds always been like transferred to my blue reward kind of cash bag i would say i think it was a cash bag it's not happening anymore I'm assuming that it's just like the cost for the program but with the blue reward again i have the cheaper uh tech pack 
and then I have better saving accounts so I'm paying that because I'm getting high interest I think the saving account I have is like eight or nine percent from the amount and now that's quite a lot when you have a nice hefty uh, amount on your savings so again getting free money why not uh, okay next we have uh kind of like the pleasures uh category i would say and the first one is kindle unlimited so i realized that i was essentially wasting money for buying ebooks even though don't quote me on that i don't think uh buying books or ebooks is waste of money it's actually well invested money however I'm reading quite fast and also the books I like to read are quite pricey so I've realized I've been spending like 30 40 quid sometimes even more per month just for books that uh, I can keep up with my reading streak and the books just were really my like cup of tea so I read them super quickly so then I decided to get the Kindle Unlimited so it's £9.49 p which is essentially a bargain and the selection of the books is really good so I'm really enjoying that uh, am I gonna stop it for a little bit because I realized I have still lots of books uh, which I basically bought earlier I think it's about like 15 or 16 books on my TBR essentially to be read list and I think I should also go through them as well so I might take a break for like a month or two maybe three we will see how fast I will read next line is gym even though I just cancel it now because I actually don't like the vibe and it was a waste of money because I I Basically, I just forced myself to go in, even though I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the vibe. I didn't enjoy the layout. It was just like the closest gym and it was 24-7. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go there. But I hated it there. I'm not going to lie. And I was quite hefty, actually. Uh, price tag, 39 99 So that is now out of the list. This uh, basically May was the last month because I think it was like a one month notice period. So yeah, I paid that, but now that's gone, which is quite nice. So additional cash cash to my pocket. Um, next one is Spotify. I have the basic plan, which I, which is ten pounds ninety nine. I'm happy with it. I don't need the audio books. I think it's one pound more expensive, or you can get it actually even more expensive for more minutes for audiobooks or something like that but that's not just my vibe i like a number of books with the spotify obviously i can't forget and netflix um again i have the basic plan it's 7.99 i actually think they now change the policy so i think this one was discontinued and there's two options i think continue with the same one without the adverts it's like 10 pounds 99 or if you don't mind adverts, it's four ninety nine. So I think I'm gonna switch to that one because if there's an advert, I don't really care. I had Disney Plus with adverts for like two pounds a month because it was like promotion to watch Shogun, and it was fine. Two minutes adverts, breeze. So yeah, that's Netflix. Uh, next one is my phone. So I actually switched to GiveGaff, and I'm paying twenty pounds a month. I think it's like unlimited calls unlimited messages and then 100 gigabytes per month of data which is more than enough like I think I don't think I ever use it to be to be fair and now we have food so I've been always budgeting uh, for my food uh, shop essentially since university I really enjoyed it I love to kind of pre-plan my meals to make sure that I know what I need to buy that I'm not gonna throw stuff away because I hate waste and yeah so basically I allocated myself 120 pounds per month which is 30 pounds a week and I have to say it's more than plenty like it really works with me with my lifestyle with the foods uh, I enjoy and I consume and it's absolutely fine so obviously I can go maybe a bit lower I can go higher I remember at some point I was uh, doing like 45 pounds uh, a week but then I was just buying stupid uh, shit essentially so now I have 30 pounds usually I'm around that 27 28 mark and if I have something spare then I use it for like cleaning products bin bags etc so yeah that's my food budget Another budget that I have is for my like kind of personal pleasures, I would say. So again, £120 a month 
30 pounds a week and that is essentially for like my coffees on the weekend or if i want a cheeky takeaway or if i'm feeling to get the drinks or go out for food etc um that was kind of the idea to be fair i usually spend it for uh when i was in the office tuesday and wednesday because sometimes i just need to escape the office because of the vibe uh so what else i would do i would go get a monster i would get a coffee i would get a sweet treat to just get out of the office stretch my legs get out of that environment that mood and i was just spending my money so there was that but also i used it for if i want to buy like i don't know t-shirt or little trinket whatever so that's kind of like the personal budget that i have and finally the last item on the list is transport so i am actually now allocating 60 pounds per month which is super low but it's a very simple reason for it because i swapped from using a tube to using a buses so I was I had no problem to spend 120 130 pounds on a tube a month to essentially go in out on a weekend and two days to the office which I found absolutely ridiculous but then again I haven't been traveling that much that I would need to buy a monthly Oyster card because obviously that would be then cheaper but then again I would be losing more money so I just decided to take buses essentially it took me exactly the same time to get to the office and back and it cost me three pounds fifty instead of ten twelve pounds because i would need to take a bus and then tube so win-win situation so those are all my bills and after essentially taking it out from my uh, income i've been left with 1023 pounds and 5p which is insane and i remember when i was uh not really paying attention how much i'm spending and how much i'm saving i had left maybe like three four hundred quid a month and i was like wow i have like you know something but it was just because my lifestyle was so different i was out all the time i just wasted money i was kind of like carefree about money because i was like oh money i will make them da 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 but now i'm like well, you need to think about future and you need to start saving. So basically from these uh, leftover monies, I'm saving £900 every single month, which then gives me a buffer about like £123 and 5p. Let's not forget those. And usually I use those money if something breaks or if I want to buy something special, if I want to go out. Uh, I just been cut off i think my uh, camera is overheated so that means i'm talking way too long uh anyways so yeah basically the buffer i'm using for if i want to go on a night out unexpectedly or if i want to buy something you know and that is it also just regarding my savings i have three saving accounts i have one which is certain amount of money that i'm not touching those are, those are like emergency emergency money it's quite hefty sum which is like okay if something happens if i go through my normal savings then i'm still gonna be okay so those are like emergency emergency then i have savings like kind of regular one for traveling or for example now i have no job so i'm gonna be probably a couple months without uh without a job because so far i haven't found anything so i can easily for the lifestyle you know i don't need to really stress that much and then i have another one which is kind of like all the uh all the money that i haven't spent that month i'm just putting in there again i'm not touching those money because they're in that saving account that kind of gives you additional money if you're not gonna touch them for like a year plus you're getting interest every month so yeah this is how i managed my uh 30 000 pound uh salary per year um let me know if you think i did a good job or not what would you be do differently what what, what? Blah, blah, blah. english what would you do differently than i'm doing and do you think i may be too strict on myself or do you think it's absolutely fine how would you use your savings you know let's just have a little chat down in the comments and yeah as i said in two weeks time there's like a little announcement which is quite exciting um hopefully it is kind of for me even though it's not but i'll tell you more i'll tell you more so anyways again the camera is screaming at me that is hot so it's time to go thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up as per usual if you enjoyed it and i'll see you next week with a brand new video bye
The winds of chance have never blown my way.